Fox and the Pine Skies seeped gray and ice sparkled upon the ground. Throughout the wood, there wasn't a sound. The creatures were snoozing day after day, much to little fox's dismay. Over, cried Little Fox. But the only reply was a squirrel's mock. <laughs> Off he moped through frosty leaves. I'm going to sleep for all winter eaves. Under the pine, he found a spot to settle with a face like a sour nettle. The noise had awoken fairy evergreen who came out to inspect this peculiar scene. What on earth is the matter, little fox? asked the fairy. And up he jumped, a little wary. Well, I'm sad. And I'm cold and ever so lonely. I feel this winter is going incredibly slowly. But little fox, look back. Can you not see? Spring has begun. Would you agree? Buds and saplings are peeping. Dainty birds are cheeping. The scent of the pine blows. And it's happening right under your nose. Never forget, little fox, as hard as it seems, that the pine will remind you of warmth. And sunbeams Evergreen, now I see, and most definitely would agree. My eyes were filled with frosty sadness, but now I'll dance and sing with gladness. Up woke the creatures of the wood that glistened. And Little Fox felt pleased he'd listened. Now the skies began to turn pastel blue. And new blossoms were covered with twinkling dew. Little Fox will always remember the magic of the pine. When feeling low, light is waiting to shine. 